increasingly being recognised as a serious crime and one that can cost its victims dearly. Mail scams are conning millions of pounds from the most vulnerable every year. Well now a new campaign launched in Rotherham today aims to highlight the devastating effects of this crime and encourage more people to come forward and report it. Martin Fisher has the story. Marilyn Baldwin from Chesterfield knows only too well how male scams can destroy lives. Her mother Jessica died when she was 83 after suffering five years of torment at the hands of scammers who conned her out of £50,000. She'd done five years of reading, sorting, replying, worrying about who she could pay and who she couldn't pay. The family kept trying to intervene but my mother told me she'd disown me if I bought in any outside help. The criminals became her friends and we became the enemy. So it's all about bringing it out into the open and through Crime Stoppers and the various post office events, this is exactly what's happening now. That means posters and leaflets will be appearing in post offices. The idea to both encourage those who may be victims to come forward as well as alerting others to the danger signs. When they see their regular customers who are drawing out consistent amounts of money, suddenly increase the amount of money that they're drawing out, to just give them that kind of confidence to question and say why. Because sometimes people might think that's odd, that's strange, why, why is this person drawing out the maximum amount of their account? But it can be difficult. Often victims choose to believe the scammers. Many elderly people unused to the idea of debt believe they must pay the fake demands that drop through their letterboxes. Marilyn Baldwin's mother fell into this trap. As much as we tried to convince my mum that she was being scammed, it was impossible because the psychology of the scammers used turned, against my, turned my mum against us. She was being written to from um, bankers, bogus solicitors, bogus lottery officials, clairvoyants told her the family were against her. Not everybody's got the internet. Yes, there's loads of help on the internet, but uh, we're talking about some victims that don't know how to use a computer and, and are completely unaware of these crimes. Following her mother's death, Marilyn launched the charity Think Jessica to highlight the issue. Now Crime Stoppers have teamed up with the post office to get the message out. South Yorkshire Police, keen too to emphasise scamming, is a very serious crime. Once people report it, then we can look. We can obviously look at it, and, and yeah, we have got means in this day and age where, through technology, we can trace where people are to get these schemes to be run from. But at the same time, obviously, we deal with this crime not just in the UK, but we deal with it in Europe as well. So again, we're working with other forces, not just in, in South uh, in South Yorkshire and across the UK, but ultimately with Europe, uh, Interpol as well. At the same time, to do everything we can to identify those responsible and bring them to justice. What's been called an unreported crime then now being brought into the spotlight. Martin Fisher, ITV News in Rotherham.